Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm a neuro-oncology nurse consultant. Colloid cysts are a benign, rare type of brain tumour. They account for about 2% of brain tumour diagnosis. The vast majority are asymptomatic, which means that the person is scanned for a reason other than the colloid cyst. So it's an incidental finding. If one were to have symptoms, they could be a headache, quite a severe headache, could be double vision, could be memory changes. The most common symptom is likely to be a headache, and this is going to be caused because the location of the colloid cyst is in the ventricle, the third ventricle of the brain. This is your fluid chambers. So what happens is the cyst blocks those fluid chambers and then you get this build up of pressure because the fluid is building up rather than circulating as it should. This is when somebody needs an operation. It could make them feel like they have a pressure headache, which could also be so severe it's associated with them feeling nausea or possibly vomiting. An operation for this would be to remove the cyst and to allow the fluid to flow freely again. If, however, somebody was asymptomatic, their treatment may simply be to have surveillance scans. These generally are once a year, and the idea is that they would keep an eye on the growth rate of the cyst if it were growing at all. And if we were to see a pattern of growth that we thought was going to lead to the ventricles being obstructed and cause this buildup of fluid, then an early intervention may be required with an operation. But we have many, many people who are on annual surveillance and their cysts are not changing. The average age is between 30 to 70, but they really do affect people of any age.